Hello, here we are at the Holiday Inn Hotel, Salem, Virginia. Let's do a hotel tour. This is the lobby of the hotel, and here is my favorite part. Ah, yes, and this one's here. Let's do a two four. Those doors don't work on Schindler HTs, but I do it anyway. Listen to this motor. Let us sojourn down to the first floor. If you listen, you can hear the other motor in the elevator. That's how loud these are. There's the digital LCD indicator. So, let's see. That should do it. Three. changes before you like, when you start going down instead of at the other end. And we're gonna get off here and I'll show you the interesting button configuration before we ride the other way up here. Look, it re-leveled these re -leveled. look the call button is on the outside to the left. Now there are two elevators. You can see in the center here the call button in the center, and the other call button is over here. Interesting, interesting way. Now before we take the other elevator for a spin, I'm gonna show you a look at the pool. I have yet to find a fitness center or a business center in this hotel. Now, the card swipe in the hotel doors, in the room doors, are the standard on the top, but in these doors, there's a swipe here. Let me just show you. And the door clicks open. Now let's go look at the pool. Welcome to the Holiday Inn. This is Salem, Virginia, swimming pool. I don't tend to get wet today, so I should be a little careful. But as far as I can tell, the pool deck is pretty wide. There's the pool itself right there, and I believe it's safe to walk this way. There should be some windows out the back. Like I said, I have yet to find fitness center in this hotel. Wait, here's something. Here's something I didn't look at before. Here. What's this? What is this? Ah, fitness center. Let me. Whew. Sounds like the key card thing on this door is just broken. Maybe it's not meant to lock. Interesting. This door is key carded. But as you can see, the key card reader has been, I must have done with that. Let's go in. Welcome to the hotel fitness center. And as you can see, there is an intercom phone. And we are in the hotel's fitness center. I didn't even know they had a fitness center. And honestly, the fact that you have to go into the pool to get to the fitness center, it's not my taste. For easy access to the hall because otherwise it may not find it but there's a mechanical room in the way but as you can see we are now in the hotel's fitness center I don't know yet if they have a business center I'm strongly doubting that and it wouldn't make sense to put that off the pool so you can see your basic machines fitness center I've yet to find a business center or guest laundry but I'm glad I found this let's go back out and sojourn along the side here and try not to fall in the pool because if I'm blind it would be very poor taste of me to fall in the pool. And here's the back wall. Should be careful back here. Now 
Interesting. There's a vent there. And a door here. Yeah, probably a mechanical room. Let's see, let's read the girl sign. It says, full equipment. Yep, that's a mechanical room. I can smell those mechanical rooms sometimes. And then the back wall. And you're done at the pool. But let's take a walk out. I can get around these chairs and not fall in the pool. I appreciate not falling in the pool. There's not something I'm going to do today. There's a pond. And there's a pool deck. There's the edge. So I'm pretty excited. And there's a the I'm facing the level again for the most part. And here's the door. Let us sojourn down the hallway. Let's see. Since the door's latched, you pull this and it unlocks. Push it back, it locks. And the door's open. There, I'm out. Now, look here. There is a women's room. Trying to find it. Let's see. That says men. So there's the men's room. Right there. Yeah. There's a women's room right over here. Two bathrooms here, no water fountain, but there's a water fountain on the other side of the hotel. And two more bathrooms. I've yet to find back. The Hermes elevator, elevator lover is back, and I am apologizing for cutting the video earlier. We're back at the women's room downstairs. As you can see, it's the women's sign by the pool. And I had to cut because my mother came down, and most of you know, I don't like my names in my, my name in my videos, so that's the first thing she says, so of course I cut it there. And now I'm back to film the other elevator. And I did learn from her, though, that the hotel does not have a business center. Let's see if I can get the other elevator again. With the call button configuration. Fire service on the other side. And here it is. Have you before we go anywhere? And as you can see, look out in the lobby and over to the fixtures. Should there HT 330A has a little fan on here, but the fan doesn't matter because listen to this motor. And this one's faster than the other one. Brilliant. There's the indicator if you want to look. the light and ceiling up there. Let me see if I can and the floor. Let's see if I can reach the ha! Can reach the ceiling hatch. <laughs> really hit. One. Okay, so that one button's been having some issues today. But now I got there and we're on our way. We can watch the door from here. Standard hotel cab. I'm gonna take another trip on this one just because it's jerkier and I love it that way. I don't know if I'll be able to do a room tour or not. I have to get both my parents out. And they never leave the room when they're in the hotel. That's why I don't do room tours much. Oh. Famous Holiday in Salem, Virginia, re -lovely. The other videos um, depicting this hotel also discuss the re-leveling issues this elevator has in the other one. But I love this elevator. The motor is just epic. Listen. It's not a high rise, but it's pretty fast for a hydro. The acceleration of that, right? And let's head back down to the bottom. Watch the doors again. You can see the outside hallway, and there goes the door. Next stop, hopefully, the lobby.
leveling forever. And here we are. Proudly to state that we are in the lobby. I'm going to show you the outside door of the hotel. Just at the end of this hallway. The other hallway. I'll just dictate what it has. Here are ice machines. There's employee rooms. There's no guest laundry. And there's no business center. There's just a computer desk. I'm going to go down to the end of this hall and I'm going to open the door to the outside. But what I was saying... It's coming down. This hotel... The other, the other hallway. I was going to dictate what is on the other hallway. There are some boardrooms. There's a boardroom, a huge conference room, and the bathrooms. That's about it. There's no hotel rooms on that hall. And this is, there's no like 1-0 oh, something that just starts in the 20s. And you see this door opens here. And I'm going to keep the door open because I don't want to get locked out. And I'll show you the card reader. And here's my room key. I'll just see if the door opens the way it's supposed to. See. That's weird. It should have opened. Well, I'll just make sure it works. But that's the outside doors to the hotel. I'm just going to show you the pool one more time and then I will end with a view of the elevator. There's the ice machines. All in all, it's a nice hotel for a couple of nights in Virginia. It's not too far off of I-81, easily accessible in Salem, although the handicap parking does need a little work. We can attest that because we park in the handicap parking. Someone did the door again. I'm just going to make sure that the thing works. I like messing with this. Just, just make sure my key had been demagnetized. Yep, it works. Okay, everyone. One last look at the pool. In all its glory. And out the Okay. Here's the elevator again, and that's it.